This is a video review of how to fix a Samsung LCD TV, the 46 inch and the 55 inch models of the uh, 630 series. The fix is for strobing or flickering on the screen. Uh, this is a, a fast flicker that you would see show up uh, continuously or intermittently. My particular case I had the 55 inch and I was looking to fix this and looking online for what options were available. Uh, one of the options was to go online and to order new parts. There's basically four circuit boards inside and the option was to order the inverter board which is along the right side or the power supply board and replace those. Um, with that option in mind I thought I'd give this fix a shot and if it didn't work then I always had my backup plan to go purchase the boards anyways. Providing the second link there in case you need to purchase any of the boards I found that site had all of the boards available for the TV if you need them. The top link that's here is an example of what the flicker looks like. I didn't record mine before I posted this or, or did these pictures of this fix. So exactly the same, you go to that top link and if your TV looks like that then give this fix a shot. Uh, while searching also found that some of the issues related to this TV are related to uh, bad capacitors on the power supply board. This is good to know about because when you get into your TV it's worthwhile to have a look at the capacitors and see if they look okay. Um, bad capacitors, visually you, what you will see is bulging or leaking of the electrolyte from the capacitors. The second video from the bottom is a video of what it looks like to replace the capacitors on a power supply board on a television. Not the same model on that link as uh, what my TV was but it, it's pretty close. And the last one there is a great website for ordering capacitors. Um, no minimum order, so I've used them before. They've shipped really quickly. Okay, so on to the fix here. This is the back of the TV. This is the 55 inch. The first thing to do is uh, take all of the screws out where the red circles are. There's two of them where the power input is there. I have four yellow circles, those hooked to the stand. Uh, when I did this fix, I left it on the uh, table there standing straight up which is fine to do you just gotta be a little bit careful when you take the stand screws out that you don't tip it or knock it while you're working on it so just be a little bit careful with that be aware that uh, when you open it up you're gonna have this power supply board there um, and if you had just recently had it plugged in this is something that you need to be careful not to touch the wrong parts of the board uh, it's circled in red there the uh, power supply board has a black line uh, through it that's kind of a border that separates the hot and the cold side. You don't want to touch anything on the hot side as it might have some electricity still in it from when it was plugged in. This is the top left side of the power supply board for the 55 inch and the uh, red circle there is the fix and what we want to do here to fix this that's a jumper on JP854 and what you want to do is just cut that jumper so that it's not connected anymore. For my board I took it out and uh, ran a solder gun on the back side uh, to remove it but you don't need to do that you can just cut it. Also found online other people who had done the same fix for a 46 inch. It's a similar looking board the jumpers in a similar spot. It's a little little bit different with the naming it's JP852 but the fix is the same just to cut that so that it's no longer there no longer connected. And this is after on mine uh, with it gone. Once you get this done, which should just be real quick with some wire cutters, you can put your TV back together, making sure that the metal casing on the outside gets tucked in. Uh, I noticed when I did mine, it, the frame wanted to pop out a little bit when I was putting it back together. So get that tucked in how it's supposed to be and put your screws back in and you should be good to go. Good luck.